Welcome back to Sheetwise. Today we are diving into a classic Excel battle. XLOOKUP versus V and HLOOKUP. Ever wondered which one is the best? Stick around to find out the pros, cons and practical applications of each. Let's get started. First let's look at the classic VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It searches for a value and returns a value in the same row from another column. Type VLOOKUP and we are looking up this value and we searching in this table array in the third column. And Karim made 18,000 sales. I choose the drop down menu and the VLOOKUP looks for the sales from this name. I show you the drop down menu. So we uh, delete this and now we go on data and looking for data validation here in this tab data tools data validation and we say allowed is list here the source is this column enter okay and that's it here is the drop down menu and it's pretty easy. If you want to deep dive in the VLOOKUP, just click on this FX function arguments. And you see this is the lockup. This is the table array. As a result, we want column three, one, two, three, and it has to be an exact result. One of the limitations of VLOOKUP is you can only search in the first um, column of your data set. Yeah, or it has to be the first in your data um, selection. So what would XLOOKUP do? We go in here, XLOOKUP, and we look up this value again, here in this array, and the return array is this. That's it. So we copy the format, and it's exactly the same result. So no point for VLOOKUP. Let's go over to HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is similar but searches horizontally across the top row and returns a value from a specified row. Let's find the sales for May. Let's type in HLOOKUP. Um, we are looking for this month in uh, this array. Um, we want the second row and that's it. False for an exact match. 48% and that's correct. Let's check XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP and we are looking for this value in uh, this row and we want the result from this row and that's it. While HLOOKUP is great for horizontal searches, it still shares some limitations with VLOOKUP. You have to search in the first row and um, XLOOKUP doesn't care. You already saw XLOOKUP can search vertically and horizontally and doesn't require the lockup value to be in the first row or first column. So we want to looking up the sales from Karim. We type in XLOOKUP looking for this value in this column and here is the result that's it but the difference so we look up and here's the difference the sales are in the first column and it doesn't matter x look up looking for this value in in this column and the result is from this column no problem. Now we go back to the VLOOKUP and build in an error. We change it here and delete one A and you see ah, errors. What do you have to do in VLOOKUP? In VLOOKUP you need another formula. Maybe if error and say then it's not assigned. <coughs> Okay, 
Xlog up on our site has a dedicated solution for this topic. You go on function arguments and you see if not found, not assigned, and okay, and you have the solution in your xlog up function without additional formulas. But we just got started with xlookup. It can do even more. We go on this example and you see now we have data with names, departments and sales. And we want to looking up department and a name. So we want to use two arguments. We click on here, go on here this uh, function xlookup and start with the lookup value. The lookup value is here beauty and Emily Roberts. The lookup array is now the column B and A. Okay. And yeah, you see um, we choose F and G and then we choose B and A because here are the names and here is the name on the second position. Yeah, So the first position is department, the second is name and now we have to uh, choose in the lockup area first B and then A. And the return array is here. And that's it. And you see Emily Roberts Beauty 19,000. We can change it. We click in the cell and start again. XLOOKUP array is here and this. And now we have to choose this and then that. So first A and then B because here it's name and department is C and that's it. XLOOKUP is super flexible. I think you already saw something. We go back in this insert function and you see the lockup value, the lockup array, the return array, if not found, we already uh, saw that, and the match mode. What's a match mode? It's super easy and it's very helpful. And you see, so let's test the match function. So we start. Let's imagine you are a runner and you are able to run 80 miles. And now you have a list to all the events you want to run but you are only able to run 80. So we use xlookup. We go here in this manager and say lookup value is 80 miles. The lookup array yeah, is the distance of the events and the return array is the event. So nothing new, but here comes the match mode. And now you can say, hmm, I'm not able to run more than 80, so it should be less than 80. Or you say, ah, I won't make it really hard for me, so let's give me the race that's a little bit more than 80. So we start with minus one. Okay. VLOOKUP will give you the event with a little bit less than 80 miles. So let's change it and match mode plus one. And now you have the challenge and 80 miles is what you can. And xlookup says, then try the Western States endurance run. It's just 100 miles. Very useful. Now we add a few marathons, maybe the uh, Boston. And now we enter distance 26. And it's Berlin Marathon. So why is that? Because XLOOKUP searches from top down. And you can change that too. So we go here in this function arguments um, uh, window. And we scroll down. It's a little bit hidden. Here is the search mode. And now you can say 1 and it starts from the top or minus one and it starts from below. So you see xlookup is not only more versatile but also easier to use. I think we can wrap it up. We don't have to count numbers. xlookup 
as the new champion in the ring. Let's be honest, I'm using Excel since mid 90s at work, so I'm an old guy and I like my VLOG up. So if I have to merge data, I will still use VLOG up. I just like it. So you have two data sets and you see in this data set you have the sales in this data sales you have the age so we type in age we type in we lock up here is the value we are looking for here is the ray so in the second column we are looking and this is how you merge data from two data sets. Sure, it's also possible with XLOOKUP, but I just like it. And here is two. That's one of the reasons I like the VLOOKUP. It's really easy to manipulate. But let me know, what is the lookup function you use the most? And which is the function you like the most? Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and see you next time. Bye.